I took things from here and here and here and here and here and here and here, here, put them all together, tied it up in a pinky bow, and it worked for me. So it could work for you too. Welcome to La Vida Rosa. I'm your host, Pinky, and today I'm gonna give y'all my secrets, tips, and tricks on how I grew my Instagram to over 10,000 followers. So if you'd like to see more, then just stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, underscore La Vida Rosa, underscore, okay. And without further ado, let's get into this video. So at the beginning of this year, my Instagram hit a huge slump. My pictures were not being seen. My likes dropped dramatically. And I was wondering what happened. I thought maybe my page was blacklisted or what do they call it, shadow banned. I wanted to monetize my Instagram page and the only way to do that is to get your followers up. So I did some research and I took tips from here and there. I've done tons of trial and error. So after a while I kind of got the hang of the algorithm and different things like that. I'm not an expert but I can tell you what worked for me. I'm also going to do an updated how I grew my YouTube channel video. So look out for that one. But it's a little bit different on Instagram. This is going to be directed towards Instagram. So yeah, I wrote everything down and I'm just going to give y'all like nine tips on how you can grow your Instagram page. Obviously, my passion is natural hair and makeup and fashion, things of that nature. But for you, it might be like electronics it could be books it might be cooking it might be a bunch of different things but what you have to do is like focus in to lay it out plain what you want to do is choose a category and then you want to narrow it down to a more specific area in that category and then you want to narrow it down even more and have a niche so the huge category for me is beauty, but in order for my page to grow, I needed to narrow it down to a specific section of the category, natural hair. So I had to narrow it down to a smaller category because honestly, that's the reason why my page was so stagnant in the beginning. I wasn't narrowing it down. Like I was posting a little of this, a little of that, a little of this. And you know, I feel like you need more consistency which i'm going to get to in a minute but um not only consistency with posting but consistency with the content you're putting out there people like to look at your page and know what they're getting from your page and once you narrow it down to that smaller section you have to narrow it down even more so into a niche and so for me my niche is color treated natural hair pretty much every other message i get is someone talking about bleaching their hair liking my hair color or it's just really what catches people's eye once i was able to do that and just focus on my content in that one area i saw major growth like it made it easier to post it made it easier to come up with content i recommend anybody that is trying to start their page that is where you need to begin is by narrowing it all the way down This goes along with the passion because you must have a passion for the things you're posting or you're not going to be consistent. If you could really care less and you're doing this just for money or just for notoriety, just for fame, you're going to give up because in the beginning, it's, you're not going to want to be consistent because you're not going to get the likes the comments the engagement that you're looking for in the beginning nobody truly does like some people may start a page get a shout out and blow up but for the most part if you want your page to grow you can't be inconsistent people want to follow a page that they can depend upon for the content that they're looking for and if you don't they'll just unfollow you or they won't engage with your content or they'll find someone else who is consistent post every day every day every day every day and i know it might seem like too much i know it might seem like people might get tired of you i used to think the exact same way but instagram isn't what it used to be i've been on instagram for a while so i remember when the instagram timeline was chronological but there's a new algorithm and honestly if you don't post every day 
there's a good chance people are not gonna find your page like you have to post every day this goes along with the consistency this is like a very popcorn microwave society so people like fresh content back to back to back to back to back to back to back okay so you have to keep up with you know people's short attention span and posting every day is going to just keep people entertained in a way even if it's just like a quote or a funny meme or just something give your give your followers something every day and i will also recommend um using the stories i'll give y'all one of my secrets i feel like you should post at least five stories a day and in order to increase engagement even more i do polls and usually i do five polls a day and so either it'll be like questions or like hairstyles do you like this one do you like that one would you wear these shoes i'll grab pictures from pinterest like i'm really giving it all to y'all right now <laughs> but yeah like i will like give them something to engage with because people love polls people love to feel like they're like it's almost like playing a game going through and like you know taking different people's polls um and a lot of times people will dm you responding to polls it's a good way to get to know your followers and have them get to know you and quality doesn't necessarily mean you have to have like this amazing high quality expensive camera you can use your iphone most of the pictures on my instagram page i took with my iphone and i have a high quality camera that i'm recording with right now but i realized that my camera on my phone can work just as well like when i just want to like take a snapshot here or there like you don't always feel like carrying around a camera make sure the lighting is just right i like sun lighting the best because i feel like it gives the best lighting especially if you're taking pictures of yourself oh my goodness sunlight is the best light okay i also have a video where you can make two ring lights under 25 dollars, and i will link that video down below I use those lights for the longest before I got my ring light. So you could do beauty on a budget too. And if you're going to do beauty photos, look into some editing apps. And I'm not telling you to like completely change the way you look. But editing apps can help if you like, if the picture is too dark, you can lighten it up, smooth out any blemishes. If y'all want a video on how I edit my photos, I will. Videos bring the followers. Now, I don't know what sort of content you produce, but any sort of video that's like a tutorial or is super informative, they get shared. They become popular enough, they can get on the explore page. And when I tell you, once they hit that explore page, they blow up. I've had videos reach like almost 50,000 views. Just me showing my audience how to do a particular hairstyle oh my goodness they blow up so much and they bring you so many followers i feel like majority of my followers have came from my videos switch your instagram account from a personal account to a business account that way you'll be able to see the engagement you'll be able to see who followed you from that post you'll be able to see who clicked on your website you'll be able to see um just all the engagement and from where the engagement is coming and so that has really helped me a lot as well to narrow down the type of content i should post um because if i get a lot of followers from this video i'm gonna make more videos like that you know or or if they like this particular picture or the, this particular hairstyle i'm gonna take more pictures with that hairstyle you know what i'm saying having a business account gives you that analytics to really grow your account and not only that if you need to you can pay instagram to promote certain posts i'm not gonna dive too far deep into that because i don't necessarily recommend that but it is an option the more comments the better the more comments up under your post the more people are going to see your post a lot of people don't know that with the instagram algorithm only about 10 percent of people that follow you actually see your picture 
on their timeline i forgot why that is it just seems like such a jerk thing to do but in order to combat that you need more comments the more comments the more of your followers are going to see it and just the more people in general especially within the first 10 minutes i can guarantee you your picture will do much greater than it would had it not had those comments i just see a huge difference whenever i have more comments versus none a little way to cheat to give you some more comments always respond to your comments always respond to the people that post anything under your page if you respond to them as quickly as possible those comments those responses count so always respond to people that leave you a comment not only is it just a nice thing to do and it's a great way to engage your audience but your comments i believe count I, and i don't know this for sure but i i believe they do so i think you should just go ahead and just respond because it's just the best thing to do anyway some of the ways that you can engage people to leave a comment is to ask questions or to write a thought-provoking caption or share some of your personal experiences that can be relatable to your followers. There's so many ways you can write a caption that could inspire people to write back. Sometimes that can be really difficult to do, trust me. It's so hard for me to do that, but I promise, especially in the beginning, you need to. It will help so much. I don't think I had this on the list, but answer your DMs. Like, my DMs are filling up pretty quickly these days, so I can't really get to everybody's DM. But in the beginning, responding to DMs and keeping up with people and actually engaging with people on a real level, not just one or two words, but actually answering people's questions and like having conversations, that really kind of helps you to get to know your audience. And it gives you the information of what you should post more of. And you get to know some really nice people and you have some great conversations. Honestly, a lot of ideas that I've gotten from my channel and from my page have come from my followers. Um, it's like we're a family because we all are interested in the same things. So we can all like talk about it freely. Hashtags allow people that do not follow you but are interested in that content to find your page. And when I tell you there are so many hashtags out there. So the first thing about hashtags is you can leave up to 30 hashtags in your caption and you need to use all 30 because you never know who follows a hashtag or who clicks on hashtags regularly and they might see your picture a lot and they just might follow you also if you're gonna post every day which you should um you're gonna need diff a different set of hashtags every day because if you're using the same hashtag over and over and over and over they're gonna think instagram is just gonna automatically think you're spamming and possibly could shadow ban you meaning when you use hashtags your name will not pop up under that hashtag so what you should do is come up with at least three sets of 30 hashtags that you use for each picture and rotate them out every day. When you look up a hashtag and you see how many photos are using that hashtag, if it's like in the millions, you don't necessarily want to use that hashtag because that's going to be oversaturated. But if you see a hashtag that only has like a thousand, two thousand people using it, you don't want to use that one either because that's too low. I think a good range will be like from 20,000 to like 100,000, maybe all the way up until like, you know, 800,000, you know what I'm saying? Somewhere in that range, maybe you could use a couple in the millions, a couple in the, you know, thousands, but for the most part, you want to use that little range because that's the one that's not going to be too oversaturated and more people are going to be able to access your photos and you want to make sure that hashtag actually matches the picture because people are going to start overlooking your picture if the hashtag has nothing to do with the picture this is one of the hardest parts about this process that no one really talks about you're going to be rejected and you're going to feel rejected because just starting off people are not going to be automatic supporters it's kind of like you have to prove yourself and you have to build up your page over time and you're going to have pictures that only get a couple of likes they get videos they get only a couple of views 
pictures that never get a comment you are gonna have to keep going <laughs> you're gonna have to keep pressing through and also if you keep posting a particular type of thing and it's not working maybe you should look at that as maybe i should look at it from a different way or try a different strategy here because if no one is responding there's no way that your page can build any sort of momentum so you need to go ahead and like go back to the drawing board and see what you can change This is another big one. You're gonna need to find other people in your community. For me, it's the natural hair community, so I will find a bunch of ladies that do similar things as me um, and support their page. Leave comments, like, you know what I'm saying? Share, get to know them, engage them. And when you engage other people, they will engage you back. Make sure you're leaving genuine comments. Don't leave the same comment on three or four people's page. That's, they're just saying, that's just not cool. And we, and I'm gonna be honest, people that do that, we can't stand that. And you might get blocked because I can't stand it when I see people just leaving the same spammy comment up under my comments all day. That is so annoying. Look for something in their content that you like and compliment it. Or, you know, maybe answer the question that they asked in the caption. Like, just, you know, engage them and they'll be more likely to engage you. And here's a bonus tip. Look at people's pages in the category that you want to be in and look at the successful pages and look at what they're doing. Look at like their patterns in their page and don't copy them directly but like kind of you can get inspiration from them and you can kind of see what they're doing to be successful and kind of take little tidbits and make them your own and kind of um learn from that honestly i learned so much just from looking at other natural hair pages and getting inspi inspired that way like i said no stealing no copying but just get the inspiration take the little pieces from it not the whole entire thing you know and and be yourself I, I didn't put this on the list but it's so important to be yourself add your own flavor there's only one you and um you have to you have to approach youtube or instagram in that way because people want to get to know you these days people want to know you they don't want to know a character so i hope this video isn't too long but I just wanted to give y'all all the tips and tricks I had. I gave y'all so many secrets, so many things that I do that I never really tell anybody, but I want other people to have access to real knowledge because I feel like a lot of times when people make videos like these, they don't really be telling the whole truth or they just be, you know, they kind of glaze over things or they say things in general. And I wanted to kind of give y'all like a real deal outline guide secrets whatever you tips tricks whatever you want to call it i want to give y'all the real deal because i wanted somebody to tell me that i took things from here and here and here and here and here and here, here put them all together tied it up in a pinky bow and it worked for me so i know i'm not just special it could work for you too i gave y'all everything that i can think of but i'm sure y'all have questions and I will be in the comments answering your questions. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.